speaks. I want to speak on faith. How important it is to, to have faith. How we are seeing so many without faith. We're not seeing much of it out there nowadays. You know, we're in a world right now where people just seeing someone do something and they want to do what that person is doing without even understanding what it could take and require. They just want what they want and they want to have what they want to have. That's it. Nothing to do with faith. Half of the time, nothing to even do with even working hard. Just because they want it. We're in a society in a place right now where people want things like that. Short attention spans. I want it now. I don't care what I got to do. That's why I'm saying today the topics that I chose have to do with faith and have to do with a lack of patience. And I think it's important, you know, so I want people to understand something. When you have faith, you got to understand you could do things that you never experienced before in your life. Straight up. Just by having faith. I believe working hard is important too. That comes with it, right? But if you understand how important faith is, just by having faith, you can accomplish so many things. But people are not understanding that because it's not being talked about as much. See, we're in a place right now where people are spending too much time in their feelings and emotions. And don't understand that you're stepping on your own blessings. Because we're in a world right now where we're taught self-love, self-care. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have some type of self-love for yourself. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it shouldn't be the primary focus. The primary focus should be having faith. Do you have faith in God? Do you have faith in what you're trying to do? Do you have faith in putting God first and asking God, is this what you want me to do? Where's your faith at? No. No. People are not getting what they want. And just like that, they becoming depressed. Sad, lonely. Feeling as weak as they possibly can. And not turning to God. Having no faith. See, we got to understand. God wants us to come to him when we're at our absolute weakest. That's what he want. Because he, he wants to know, okay, are you going to put me before anything else and trust in me to solve the issues and problems that you have laid out down on your feet? Are you going to come to me when there are things that you want to accomplish knowing that you can't accomplish them by yourself because you're trying over and over and over again. Are you going to show me that you have faith in me and come to me and say, God, I need you in this moment. Because we're in a place where most people don't. Because we're in a feelings based society right now. And this society, this world especially the U.S., where we're at right now, want to eliminate God, which is going to eliminate the message of God. And that's why we're seeing a lack of faith right now when it comes down to this world. And in this moment, I want to speak to the youth because the youth is the future. All of you out there, if you want to accomplish your dreams, and you want to get to where you're trying to get to, you're going through trials and tribulations, you got to understand and know that, hey, if I want to go out there and become the best that I could become, if I don't have faith in God, if I don't have faith 
at all, no faith, then how am I going to be able to be that? How am I going to be able to become that? How am I going to even trust what I am doing when I don't have faith? That's what the youth is missing. That's why they turn into social media, looking for people to follow and listen to. When they're not even getting the right information from those people. Those people are leading them to an early grave. Not just because of things like suicide that we see a lot of, but because of depression, sadness, going out there and committing crimes. That's why. All stems from a lack of faith, no belief. A bunch of non-believers out there not understanding, man, all I got to do is turn to God and have faith. That's all I got to do. I don't got to turn to technology. I don't got to turn to social media. I don't have to do that. But they are. And that's why I think it's important to put this message out there because we don't hear it as much i'm gonna go further than that we don't even hear it as much from the ones who call themselves believers uh-oh i'm pretty sure y'all want to give me one of these huh? <laughs> i'm speaking on facts everybody nowadays Want to be the popular one, putting out the popular message. What sounds good, what feels good. Everybody's going into that direction. Wanting to get people's approval. Not understanding that, hey, what people really need out here right now is the real message of God. You're seeing people who are believers out there putting, teaching self-love in front of the word of God and teaching how important it is to have faith in him because if you have faith in him it could solve all of your issues that's the message we, we, message we should be putting out there but that ain't the message that's being put out there even from believers that's why i want to put this out there to have the youth understand don't follow What's going on on social media? Don't follow what's going on out there in the world. When it comes down to looking for mentors and people who you don't even get the right tools from. Don't follow those individuals when it comes down to needing the tools to be successful and go out here and do what you want to do. Follow the word of God. Get on your knees and ask God for what you want. Let God know that you have faith in him. Because obviously you're lacking faith. Because you wouldn't be turning to anything if you did have faith. You could tell the individuals out here through their trials and tribulations to growing who have faith and who don't. I'm going to even speak on myself. Before I got into starting my own businesses and doing film and stuff like that, before I turned my whole life around and God led me into the direction that he wanted me to go in, I was out here doing whatever I wanted to do. And, I would, and, I would, and I'm going to say this, especially in my 20s, I felt no one was working harder than me. I was up early, out there grinding, going hard. No sleep. Working, working, working. Trying to get to where I'm trying to, was trying to get to. Trying to climb that mountain. But every time I go up 20 steps, I'll come down 40. I was going in circles. Y'all see them little mouse traps? You know, the, the, the little, the little, I mean the little mouse wheels when they just going in circles. I was going in circles. I wasn't going anywhere. Because I lacked faith. I wasn't a believer at that time. I never got on my knees and said, God, this is what I want. I have faith in you to lead me to that place. Never did that at that time. 
And I'm telling you straight up, I was working extremely hard. That's why I say it's not all about working hard all the time. It's bigger than that. See, a lot of time you hear people say, man, I was going hard, man. I cannot get to where I'm trying to get to. Well, maybe because you're not taking it to God. Where's your faith? Maybe you're trying to do something that he don't want you doing. Maybe if you would get on your knees and tell God, I got faith in you, or God, give me the faith that I need, then he would then not just give you what you want, but give you what he want, which is going to be far greater than what you want. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's faith. I was out here very unsuccessful. So much so I got depressed, down. I didn't want to live anymore. I was ready to go. Not understanding, I have not even tried to turn to God yet. Until I did understand I need to turn to God. And once I did that, everything changed. I, let me tell y'all this. I have never been in a business my entire life. Never thought about it. Didn't think I was going to start one up. It was not even in my thought process. But after I changed my life, God led me into business. Because he knew, he knew me. He knows, God knows our heart. He knew I would be able to help change the lives of others. And then it would lead to the things that I have goals and dreams about, which is wanting to do film. Wanting to speak to others, wanting to coach others when it comes down to, you know, uh, uh, helping them find their direction in life. God knew what I had in my heart as a creator, a writer, a speaker. He knew it. So he led me into a direction that will open those doors. Do I still go through ups and downs? Of course. But I go through them with God on my side so I can put a smile on my face when I go through those ups and downs now. Because don't think that Paul is sitting here saying, I don't go through trials and tribulations and my life is just perfect. I'm not saying that. That's not what this is about. I'm just saying having faith in God has changed my life even through the trials and tribulations. And I think it's important for the young generation, the younger generation out there to understand that. To see and know they got a different outlet. An outlet that would help them rise. Rise overall. Because I want to see greatness out of people. I don't want to continue to go on social media and see these young people, 13, 14, 15 year olds, committing suicide. Damn, depressed on depressants, uh, de uh, depressing pills and stuff like that. Out of control. We're in a place right now that we've never seen before. And I'm talking about for people under the age of 18. Never seen these things before. Because they feel they got nowhere else to go and nowhere to turn to. And they don't understand all you got to do is turn to God. Don't find out too late. I promise you, it's word, it's scripture. If you get on your knees, ask God to, God, come into my life. I believe in the Lord Jesus, Savior in Christ. I believe that the Lord Jesus is the Son of God. I believe these things, Lord Jesus. I want to have more faith. I need you in my life. I need you in my world. I need you on this journey. People don't understand that if you do that, you'll start seeing the changes in your life happen. And little by little, you'll be like, man, all I have to do is believe and have faith. What? And I'm not making this up. This is scripture. This ain't coming. This ain't nothing that's just coming from my mouth. This is scripture. Mark 11, 22. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. 
That's faith. That's faith. It don't take a lot. God is letting us know it don't take a lot. That's faith. Youth, young ones out there, kids, teenagers, young adults. I'm telling y'all, I'm giving y'all something that I didn't get when I was your age. I wish I could have, look, I never regret nothing, but I'm sorry. When it comes down to certain things that have to do with the faith, sometimes I sit back and say, man, I would have loved if I would have had this type of energy for, for, for God when I was in my teens and early 20s. So that's why I'm putting it out there now and telling y'all, youth, all you got to do is have faith. Show God you got faith. Let him know whatever it is that you're trying to do and say, God, I have faith in you. But really, really have faith. And you don't believe me when I say it don't take much? What do the scriptures say? Matthew 17, 20. He replied, because you have so little faith, I truly, I tr truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Faith as small as a mustard seed. What? God is saying, you got to go out there and have extraordinary, right away, have extraordinary faith for me. You can have no, you can have nothing in you that showcases anything else. You got to just have this astronomical amount of faith in me right now. He didn't say that. He said it's small as a mustard seed. That's it. Y'all, a mustard seed. Let me see what I got up in here. A mustard seed is smaller than this. Look at this. See the tip of this smaller than this mustard seed smaller than this that's all he's saying you only got to have a little bit of faith show me just show me that you have faith in me that ain't what they're telling you out you out there youth young men and young women they're not telling you all that so i'm here to give the message because of so much that I'm seeing out here, man. It, 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 it brings me down sometimes. Where I got to get on my knees immediately and pray. Because I'm seeing so much going on out here. And I'm seeing so many things that young people are dealing with. And I know and I can feel in my heart. Most of these individuals have absolutely no faith. They never got on their knees and prayed a day in their life. Because they never been taught it. All I'm saying is give a message like this a chance. Give God a chance. Get on your knees and pray. And see the outcome from it. Because I'm telling you, once you see your life start to change. Young people, listen. Once you see your life start to change. Immediately, your faith is going to grow stronger bigger i'm gonna start having more faith and that's when you're gonna really start to see your life change and you have an opportunity to do it early do it now but you gotta start so i thought it was important just to start you know uh you know start the podcast up with Talking about faith, because like I said, we seeing so little of it nowadays, and I think it's affecting this world, and it's an, it, and it's really affecting the next generation to where I look at this world and say, man, where is this world going? Where exactly is this world going? Because these young people are not being taught anything because they so highly focused on social media. They so highly focused on hip hop, urban, uh, uh, ur the urban community, what they putting out there and everything like that. And, and don't get me wrong, look, 
I'm as black as they come. What you see on my wall, pictures of Nipsey. You know, you got Barack and all them, Martin Luther King, Boys in the Hood, Kobe, all kind of stuff. See, you got all of that stuff, you know? So I'm never saying don't have don't have love and a, and a liking for things out here when it comes down to even entertainment. I'm not saying don't enjoy it when you can. I'm just saying these people are not individuals that you should look at as mentors. They're not your mentors. It's all entertainment. They're getting paid for you watching them. But God don't ask for nothing. He just asks for your love. That's it. You think that any of these individuals that you see that's getting paid for entertaining you, you think that they will be able to say, I don't want your money. All I want is your love. No. <laughs> they want your money because that's how they pay their bills. That's how they stay rich. So you can't put faith in any of that because they getting something out of it. But God get nothing out of it. He wants your love. He want to know that you put him first. That's what he get out of it. No financial gain. So you got to think about that. And turn to God. Trust me on that one. 